Yo, this chapter was gory as hell, dude. Like, ninjas are getting their heads chopped off left and right. What is going on? This is the most violent and gory and bloody chapter I've seen in One Punch Man in quite a while as Flashy Flash and Sonic take on the Heavenly Ninjas. But it seems like the battle with the Heavenly Ninja has all but wrapped up already, which means that Empty Void and Blast will be coming in the very next chapter. So without further ado, let's jump in with the cover page being Saitama, chapter name being Undesirable Relationship, talking about Flashy Flash and Sonic. This Saitama looks awesome, just love the shot of him, and the battle begins at the beginning of this chapter, it just automatically blasts off. And one of the coolest things about this whole redraw is that they skipped through like the whole giant fight and basically just did Sonic and Flash versus the Heavenly Ninjas in one chapter. And we get through all of it here. This guy says, listen to the sound of my cutter whip breaking the sound barrier. Bro, you're going up against speed o Sonic sound who slices off his head in an instant. You don't even see Sonic move. And this homie with his little whip just got decapitated. Then Sonic just without hesitation darts in at the others and Flash and Sonic go on a crazy killing spree here. Look at what Flash is doing, a whip of light. First homie got his teeth knocked out, second homie got his gut split open, third homie lost his face and his sword. Flash just took out like three people instantly but he did get like a little cut. Now this little cut is actually from Hellfire and Gale who we saw him fight before and Flashy Flash was able to beat them even in their monsterified forms. But the Heavenly Ninja turned on them and kicked them out of the sky saying, stop relaxing and go in fodder. These guys don't realize that they are uh, pretty much hazing the best two ninjas out of them. So as they kick them to the ground, Flashy Flash grabs their ankles and starts spinning them around like a tornado, knocking out all of these ninjas. One of them flies into some ninja razor wire and gets chopped up into a ton of cubes and chunks. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, this chapter reminds me of the, the one chapter where the one council of swordsmen gets like half his face melted off. And so Flash actually captures them and he says why now. He wants to see if the this demonstrification process that Blast has been doing will work on Hellfire and Gale. So if they want to become humans again, they can, and they very well may become good guys or perhaps join Sonic and Flash's new village of ninjas that they are planning on creating. Now, I don't know who this giant guy is, but or maybe he used a ninja technique to like grow giant, but he throws down this massive punch and Sonic and Flash jump over it doing their classic little ninja spins, but then they smash his face into the dirt with a double wind blade kick, which we saw them connect with in the previous chapter, and it's cool to see them coordinating their attacks in perfect synchrony to uh, just take people out left and right. Sonic saying go Flash throws his ninja stars in a variety of directions and Flash darts through, and as one of the ninja states, it's like, man, have these guys been practicing their coordination? Like, it's crazy, they just work together so so well and you see this variety of damage destruction explosions and speed all over the battlefield as sonic and flash just go completely ham like look at this Flash just bounces through. We've seen him like this speed maneuver out of him. He just these rays of light cutting through ninjas like butter, blood squirting everywhere. And then he's jumping up on a car, like pulling a trick out of Saitama's bag with the serious table flip and bouncing just all over doing all this crazy stuff. I mean, I think it's possible like Flash very well, like he can't lift the rocks out of the ground, but if the rocks were up in the air, I feel like he could do the serious table flip kind of omnidirectional attack that Saitama and Sonic are also able to do. Murata blessed us with a couple beautiful double pages in this chapter. This one just showing the sheer speed of Flash. It is ridiculous. This guy is so far beyond all the other ninjas. As the ninjas jump up in the air to kind of escape Flash, Sonic comes in and takes out one, two, three, four, five heads of ninjas instantly. He, he popped out of the ground like Naruto over here and slices off 
all of their heads. And that's pretty much the end for the Heavenly Ninjas. They, we, <laughs> I mean, Flash took out like five, and I guess Sonic took out five, and they're all dead. And uh, we got to go through about three or four chapters of redraws in one chapter, which is nice. And also, they have made Sonic way stronger this time around than the last time they drew this. So we're going to end here with the face-off between Flashy Flash and Sonic. And they're going to have some words with each other, talking about, you know, sparring, little trash talk, friendly kind of camaraderie. But I believe Empty Void will pop out at any second. And I'm a little surprised that one of Murata didn't drop it in here in the end of the chapter, but we all know what's coming. Empty Void is on his way. Blast is on his way. Or if he's not, Flash has that Zeno button. He can just push and click it and Blast will be there in a second. And that means next chapter, we're going to get an insane battle. The next few chapters are going to be hype as freaking hell. Make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications enabled because you're not going to want to miss it. And I will absolutely be covering it. You guys have no idea. <clears throat> You guys have no idea how hype and excited I am for the next few chapters of One Punch Man. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. It appears that we've made our way through all the redraws already, and we're about to get into the really good meat and potatoes. So this actually went fast, and it went clean, and the redraws were absolutely way better than the original. So I'm a happy camper. I just want to see Empty Void vs. Blast, and I want it now, but it will be coming in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. So that's it for the chapter review. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you on the next one.